I'm starting off my day packing up packages, then we're gonna hit the post office. Again, shout out to everyone that has been copying. Let's see, today I have to pull, uh, what did you guys buy yesterday? Let me check, let me check. I hope all you guys are having a wonderful day though. Uh, today kind of started off decent. Captain came to say hi. What, you need to go potty? Want me to let you out? All right. It's one good thing about having a fenced in backyard living in a house is I can just, see you later. Have a good day. All right, now let's get back to pulling. Uh, I know that this 100% sold the 1991. That sold, what else sold? So shout out to Gerald, he bought the Kuji. Oh wow, he bought the Kuji. I didn't even know what this sold. You guys know yesterday, I, I really wanted to keep that, but shout out to Gerald. Ryan cop the Goyard box logo. Okay, shout out to you. I don't know if I even showed that on camera. Goyard box logo. Jared cop the New York Mets. Oh, Jared is in New Zealand. For everyone that's asking, yes, I do ship international, but it, honestly, to ship a t-shirt, it's like $16. To ship a jacket, it's gonna be like $25. It's just international shipping is so expensive. I do ship international though. It will take a while to get there, but yes, I do. Um, just fill out your information and it should be there. So Jared got the 1999 Mets. That's crazy that New York Mets is going to New Zealand right now. All right, what other, what else do we got? What else do we got? And then we got Israel got the 19.1 out of two problems. Oh, also the Kuji sold on Depop for $50. Where did that Kuji shirt go though? Where is the Kuji? Where is the Kuji? The worst thing is trying to find inventory that you can't find, but I know that it's in here somewhere. At least I thought it was, maybe not. I lost the Kuji. Finally found the Kuji. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five t-shirts. So we gonna grab five bags. We got the one bag, we got the two bag, we got the three bag, we got the four bag, and we got the tea bag. All right, let's load up these packages. Shout out to everyone. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight packages are going out from yesterday and today, so shout out to you guys. So literally right next to my post office, there is a Goodwill, so I figured, you know what? Let's hit up a Goodwill. Yesterday I didn't hit up a Goodwill, and actually today I think I'm gonna be recording my Q&A. You guys are asking really good questions on yesterday's video, so I might upload the Q&A today, and then I might upload this vlog tomorrow, just so it's not repetitive. That's one thing that I wasn't sure about the daily vlogs, is my life is so repetitive, you know, as you guys see, I wake up, I ship packages, I go to the post office, then I usually hit the thrift store, then I get some lunch, and it just kind of continues. Now sometimes it does switch up, sometimes I do go to my friends, and he drives, so then we go to Miami. He actually texted me this morning, but unfortunately I didn't get it in time. He's like, yo, I just left, I'm going to Miami. So usually I do go to him, and then that way I hit up different thrift stores in the Miami area, other than just local area. But I know I'm just, you know, we gotta post every day, I'm on the grind. Obviously this is the seventh, eighth day that I've been posting every single day. And I feel like once I keep going up, it's just gonna feel like clockwork, like literally like a job. If I want YouTube to be a job, I have to treat it as a job, you know, not a take a day off every single day. So let's head to the post office. I swear this Goodwill right now is like 100 plus degrees. It is so hot in here. I don't even like want to go. And honestly, there's so many people here right now. There's probably about 30 people inside here right now. Like just, I don't know, they're all at the cash register. It's so fucking hot in here. This Goodwill, I think, is going to be marked off my list because I can never find anything good here anymore. Too many people come here. And for the people that always ask, I look through the small section every single time, but unfortunately, I don't know why, like, all the good vintage I find is either large or XL, sometimes medium, but literally, smalls never, like, I don't know if it's just because maybe back in the day they weren't wearing it, but... Literally smalls will just be the basic like BS shirts like literally nothing good like this is all smalls right here And there's literally nothing good, you know, I don't know. It's strange I don't know if people come and get all the smalls, but I never find like vintage small stuff Shout out to this guy. He actually yeah, recognized me and uh are pretty good too. Yeah, and sometimes they do good deals. Yeah. Okay, Tommy like bait and with a little hit. Those are six bucks. Not bad This to you. Okay, nice little NASCAR yeah. Hell yeah. No, no, no. The, uh, oh, uh, ba basketball, yeah, yeah baseball. Sick, sick. It looks like that NASCAR style with all the 
thing on it. And I got this for you. FSU? Oh, hell yeah. That's sick, Guy Harvey. Guy Harvey. Bro, Guy Harvey shirts I find all day, and it's like, that's Guy Harvey's a forty dollar T-shirt, and people don't realize they can come to thrift store. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I wish yeah. back in the day I knew, cause I used to wear Guy Harvey all yeah, day. I just got this one too. Oh hell yeah, that's sick too. Wonderworks. Oh, you know what? That's the upside down thing in uh, Orlando. It's the upside down uh, the building or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, Bro, it's so hot in this thrift store. I feel like the AC is not on. Yeah, I'm. Oh uh, yeah, like I found these. I'm like, were those? Oh, Gore-Tex pants. Oh, that's sick. Hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah. So like you said, it is just way too hot in here. I'm just gonna head to the post office now. And then this is already paid for. Okay. Thank you. Lunch today, Pueblo Tropical. For here. Can I have a small choppy chop with a drink? Uh, yellow rice and vegetables with grilled chicken. And then no toppings. Just yellow rice and chicken? Yeah. And then uh, small plantains. Yeah. And that'll be it. Can you change that one? Oh man, this looks so good. Chicken choppy chop, yellow rice, vegetables, chicken, some sweet plantains, and then you get you have to put the garlic cilantro garlic on top. Oh man. Again, I didn't want to have a boring video for you guys, and one thing I haven't done in a while is go to TJ Maxx, Rosh, and Marshall just to see what kind of steals and deals they have. So let's go see what kind of deals we can get or that they have, because I probably won't buy anything, but let's see what they got. Ross will be the first place we'll look. Usually they have good shoes at Ross. What are these, like Nike Air Pythons? They look like the Jordan 2s though. Some basic Air Force 1s. And like Hirachi kind of. Eight bucks, got the Hilfiger Spell Out Boxers. This is pretty nice, so we have like the Fleece Jordan. Original price was 150, it's on clearance right now for 55. Original price was 80 bucks. Has a Jordan Spell Out, like almost like the vintage style. Not bad at all, like the Fleece, but eh, we'll pass on it. It's a size XL as well. And then you can quickly look up on eBay, they're going for about 70 bucks, so. Damn, this is pretty sick. So this is like a velvet Nike jacket. Like, I don't know if the camera's picking up. Original price, 80 bucks, they want 40. Really nice. And again, quick look on eBay, and you see it goes for 57, so to buy it for 40, not a good deal. Another sick Jordan piece, you have like the Jordan tank top with the big logo, 15 bucks. So Ross didn't have anything or much of anything good, but maybe Marshalls will have a little bit better stuff. So let's see Marshalls. One thing that I never understand is that people that come here and buy $5,000 worth of inventory to sell shoes on Amazon and shit, like all of it is is like just basic team stuff that no one even buys. So when those people film like, oh, I just made $6,000 in two hours, that's a lie, bro. It's gonna take them eight months to sell those shoes because no one's buying those shoes. So you can see, I mean, as a sneakerhead, there's literally nothing good here. So all these Amazon people that come in and buy this stuff, like I said, they're sitting on this stuff for months and months because no one's gonna come in and buy these Jordan teams. These Jordan Futures are probably like the best thing here and they're all $80, so it's like, come on. Found some Tevas for 20 bucks. They're a size 10 though. You guys know I love my rider sandals. Now for the clothes, first thing we see, this True Religion Bomber. 40 bucks, a little quilted. Oh, you can actually make it into a vest too, it has zippers. I didn't even realize they sell Obey, Obey propaganda. It has cracking all over. I wonder if that's supposed to be like that or if it's just an old shirt. That's funny. This is pretty cool. So we have the Calvin Klein jeans and on the back it has all 3M logo. Like, this is all 3M. Then I thought this was vintage at first, but it's a starter, brand new with tags, obviously. UM Miami. The big U logo. Unfortunately, they want 50 bucks for it. 50 bucks. If it was 20 bucks, I'd probably get it, but 50, eh. Damn, this is sick too. This like true religion cut and sew. 60 bucks. Originally 270. This thing is crazy. Levi's like patchwork denim. Original price 60 bucks. Now they're on sale for 20. First time ever seeing Carhartt in TJ Maxx too. Got the Carhartt logo hoodie. Tommy Hilfiger, you have the Hilfiger spell out on the sleeve. The small little embroidered flag. Nothing else. 40 bucks. 
Damn, this is pretty fire too. So we have the double-sided Rocky. Usually you don't see double-sided shirts. They just do the single. Not bad at all. Damn, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is all 3M guest jeans jacket. It has the guest spell out on the side. And then it's all 3M bomber. So crazy. 50 bucks. So I ended up grabbing that Rocky shirt. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it or keep it though because it is pretty fire. It's like that vintage style double-sided. But I did come in to TJ Maxx and look at this Invicta that they have. It's Mickey Mouse. But to be honest, that bezel almost reminds me of like a Ro Rolex or some shit. It's so nice. Please look at this one too, like an iridescent metal. Thing's huge. So the same starter jackets that they had at uh, Marshalls, they actually have other stuff. They have the Sentinels with the big FSU on the back. Again, they're all 50 bucks. Seems like they got a bunch of them. UM hoodies. Got this all tonal champion sweatshirt. The way I could tell is like it's all like, seems like it's cut and sew. Oh wow, this is a really nice North Face jacket too. Original price 130 and at TG Maxx it is $64.99. This is kind of funny, you have like the Corona all knitted Christmas sweater. Really nice Florida Marlins jacket. Let's see what retail is, oh, it doesn't even say. So I just asked an employee, hey, I noticed there's a lot of clearance stuff. When are you guys going to do the yellow tags? Because if you guys aren't aware, TJ Maxx does red tags and yellow tags. Yellow tags are always going to be the lowest mark. And they're like, actually, tomorrow we're doing inventory. So I said, perfect. So tomorrow I'm actually going to come back, maybe get that champion jersey, maybe get a couple champion hoodies. Depends how much they mark them down. 